Hey friends and welcome back. The final flex item property we're gonna look at is Align Self. It's a very simple, it's pretty easy to understand. So the Align Self property allows you to override a specific item's default alignment or the alignment set by Align Items property on the cross axis. So you can take one individual item and move it in a different area of the cross axis. I'll show you that right now. So we have four boxes here in the HTML and the CSS. It's just the standard flex box, nothing set right now. By default, align self is set to align self stretch. So everything is just stretched. And there are four other properties that you can set on this. Flex start, starts the item. It packs it at the start of the cross axis. Flex end, packs it at the end. Center, it centers it and baseline. <gasps> Big yawn. And baseline, it aligns it along the baseline of the text as we've covered in a previous lesson. Keep in mind, this is for individual items, not for all of them. You can't set all of the align self. It won't do anything. You won't see anything reflected. So it's for making an individual item align in a different way. I'm selecting box number three by this class and I'm just going to align self flex start. It'll pack it at the start, cool. Pack it at flex end, cool. Gonna pack it in center, nice. Baseline, let's see if this does much. It kind of just is in the baseline of everything else. So if the font sizes were different, maybe let's make the font size different and see if that helps us see it differently. Not quite, I mean, it's not lined up with these baselines, so I wonder if it's more so if you were to select different box. There we go, so I set box two to a bigger font size and align self baseline. So now these two are on the same baseline. If I change the font size yet again, they should both be on the same baseline here, which they are. Okay, that's how that works. So there's baseline and then align self stretch, which is the default, it's stretched out. If we were to change the orientation, what if we change it to flex flow column? And let's make the box, and we're just gonna make it taller box so that we can fit everything in one long column. Now I'm going to say align self flex start, packs it at the start, flex end, packs it at the end, flex center, as you can imagine, it's in the center, baseline, there's not much to align with here, and then self, it should stretch it out to the width of the rest of the items. And there it is, because that width is, if I were to check out the boxes. I think I have a max width of hundred. So let's just take out the max width, see what happens with the different, uh, different properties and values. Flex start. All right, you got it. Flex end, center and stretch, which is the default. The same goes for row. You get the idea. They stretch out here, start and center and then baseline stretch. All right. So that's it for the overview of Flexbox. We did the flex container properties, which are the parent properties. And we did the flex item properties, which are the children properties and went through all the different properties and values. We learned a lot and hopefully this gives you a little bit more to work with, with understanding Flexbox and incorporating that into your layouts. All right. See you in the next one.